Hello YouTube, Gamer Ninja here, and I was just playing on Pokemon Showdown tonight, and I managed to run into Ace Star the Third. And if you don't know who he is, he's another YouTuber who uh, does Pokemon battles. And I said, hey, uh, I'd really like to do a battle with you. So shout out to him. Thanks for battling, man. It was a lot of fun. Uh, made me build up a little bit more confidence in myself in this uh, generation of the game. So um, for those of you who don't know, I was really really good in 5th gen, uh, but when 6th gen came around, um, basically I started to suck, and so I just wanted to start battling again, and it was a lot of fun just sort of bringing out the old prediction cap and battling against someone who knows what he's doing in this generation. So without further ado, let's get started with this replay. Alright, so I'm looking at the team preview here, and I figured I might as well start off with Talonflame, because... Uh, if he opens up with an Amoongus to predict my Breloom lead, I can just one-shot it. But he does something very interesting. He opens up with Gyarados, who gets an Intimidate. So I just decide to U-turn out in case he decides to Mega or Switch out. And I go into my own Gyarados to get an Intimidate off on him. And he does a Waterfall that does next to nothing to me. And so I just decide to stay in and try to get some damage off on something. Actually, wait, no, I decided to set up on this turn. So he goes out into Amoongus, and I figured the way he brings this in, it's physically defensive. But, um, I figured, why not? I'm Mega, I have a huge attack stat, I'm at plus one, and I have Ice Fang. Let's just go for it, and holy crap, for a physically defensive, what I assume to be a physically defensive set, that does a lot to an Amoongus. He spores me, of course, so I'm now in a sleep Mega Gyarados, but I really don't mind too, too much. Um, I have a way to get around that, which you'll see later on. So he decides to Giga Drain. I stay in just to see what he, what moves he has. And I just basically wanted to see if he was actually packing Giga Drain. Because some of them only pack Clear Smog and run HP Fire, uh, Clear Smog, and uh, I believe Leech Seed. That was what I, one I just ran into. So I just wanted to see if he was actually running a Giga Drain. So I go back out into Talonflame. He goes back out into Gyarados, predicting that very nicely. And uh, I just decided to go for a U-turn again, because, you know what? Screw him. I'm not going to deal with this. So I was sort of thinking for a bit on this turn, so I decided to finally go out into Latias. Because Water-type moves aren't going to do much to Latias, just because of her natural bulk and the resistance. And I decided to switch out again, just to sort... And I predicted the Togekiss to come in. And I sort of switched out into Tyranitar, because I was 100% sure I could take any one shot from this thing and shoot it back in the face with a stone edge and i also wanted to get a chance to get the sun the sand up for excadrill later so he goes for air slash uh i assume he's not running uh aura sphere but he was trying to get some flinch and i'm a defensive set in case you can't tell and that does nothing and i just one shot it back in the face with a stone edge so that was very very satisfying so now I'm staring at a Magnezone, and I'm thinking at this, and I went, you know what, screw it, Tyranitar will probably live a Flash Cannon. So I decided to go set up my Stealth Rocks, because their Stealth Rocks are always useful, especially against that Gyarados, and Hazards are Hazards. And he doesn't look like he has anything really to get rid of it, other than Latios. So here I go out into Excadrill, just because Sand Rush, and I actually, whoa, bit of lag there, I predicted this. I figured he would try to do something like this, predicting my Earthquake. So I just said, you know what, Rock Slide. And it almost kills. And I was sort of disappointed that it didn't. But in the long run, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to shoot in the face. I just take extra re recoil. And he just decides to Mega just to show off that he was a Mega. I don't care. I'm faster thanks to Sand Rush and the Sandstorm. And I just shoot it in the face with an Iron Head. Shoot it in the face with an Iron Head. There's something wrong with that sentence. Anyway, he goes out into Latios. Um, at this point, Exegrill Drill has done what he really needed to. I decided to go for Iron Head just to get off as much damage as possible. And that's a minus one Iron Head. And holy crap, this thing is stronger than I ever gave it credit for with a Life Orb on it. So he just decides to go for a Draco Meteor. Uh, again, Draco Meteor. Pretty standard stuff. But he didn't get rid of Rock, so I assume this is more of an offensive set rather than a supporting set. So I just bring in Talon playing. And U-turn, just in case he wanted to switch out into something. If he went into an Amoongus, uh, not Amoongus, uh, Magnezone, I might have been in trouble, but he just decides to sack it. 
So I go out into Tyranitar as Death Fodder. And I basically just wanted to bring Tyranitar in before my Sandstorm Broad came back. And then kill it off. Because at this point there's not a whole lot on my team that benefits from Sandstorm. And there's still something on his team that won't take damage from Sandstorm. So I figured just sack Tyranitar to get as much momentum as possible. And he decides to Volt Switch out. Just in case I decided to switch out. And he goes into his Chansey. And I hate pink blobs like Chansey. So I go out into Breloom. And I'm looking at my team and I just sort of went, wait, I don't really need Breloom. So I'm just sort of messing around. I anticipated this switch and decided to just go straight for a Rock Tomb. Um, just to see how much damage it did. And that does a fair chunk. It, this is a Technician Loom with a Focus Sash. So, um, I expected it to do a fair chunk, but it did more than I expected, honestly. So he goes out into Magnezone, and I just say, you know what, I don't need this thing. <laughs> Screw it, I don't need it. So I just basically say, forget prediction, I'm just gonna mock Punch. If he wants to try to predict me, great. If he doesn't, I don't care. Uh, so he goes back out into Amoongus, to, and he got the Regenerator boost, so now he won't die to a, uh... Rock to Mock Punch combination. Nice play on his part. And so, I just go for a Rock Tomb, and I'm just looking at that, and I'm going, that's not going to kill after Black Sludge Recovery. And he just reveals he has Clear Smog. I kind that was kind of important, because that basically means that I can't set up on him without risking him just removing all my setup and doing a fair chunk of damage. So I, at this point, I'm just sort of firing off stuff, and I just really wanted to get this thing as low as possible so I can just bring stuff in to kill it. So I believe at this point, I decide to go out into Latias and basically just drop a meteor on something. If he goes out into Magnezone pre do, to uh, predict my Draco Meteor, then that's fine. And I just whiffed it completely so it didn't matter. But this Latias is a bit unusual. It has Hidden Power of Fire, so I just blad out kill that thing. And it has one very, very fun move that I absolutely am starting to fall in love with. And Chansey comes in, I freaking hate pink blobs. In case you can't tell, I absolutely hate pink blobs. But it's okay. Because remember, I still have a Mega Gyarados. And yes, it might be asleep. But I have a very special move for this situation. Now remember, I said at the beginning of this that I didn't really mind that my Gyarados fell asleep early. And this is why. Right here. You have Wish, I have Healing Wish. For those of you who don't know what Healing Wish does, it faints the Pokemon that uses it, but then fully restores everything about the incoming Pokemon except PP. Um, I believe Cresselia gets Lunar Dance, which restores PP as well. And now, here I can basically just set up in his face. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to basically get up to plus two and just fire off waterfalls and see how much damage I deal. Even if he does kill this thing because I get too greedy with boost and just only attack once versus twice, uh, Talonflame could easily just click Brave Bird and win. It's a banded uh, Talonflame, so it doesn't really matter. So I just decide to finish the game off with my Mega Evolution. Uh, he's got no prayer of basically surviving anything. I don't think Amoongus could survive a waterfall, but I just decided to be a bit risky and risk a miss because I have Talonflame in the wings. But that's the game, everyone. It was a lot of fun. Uh, this is probably the most prediction I've done in a single match in a good long while. Um, I'm sort of stuck at lower rating right now just because I've been playing like a complete and utter, utter idiot. But this game was a lot of fun. I knew this player was good, so I had to step up my game. And I just so happened to step it up enough to pull off a victory here. All in all, I really hope you enjoyed this game. It was a relatively short one, but I think it was a lot of fun. Thank you, A-Star, again. I really appreciate the game. Hope you're doing well. And I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you next time.